are many Americans who worry about exactly how the U.S. can possibly be prepared for national security domestically with all that's going on in Israel and Gaza, Ukraine's defense needs, and then, of course, there's our southern border and the immigration crisis. There are reports that U.S. stocks of Stinger missiles, large caliber artillery shells, and more are at risk of running low. Now, some defense experts are warning that it's a recipe for disaster. Retired U.S. Army Major General William Inyart is here right now. General, thank you so much. We've heard these calls over the past couple of years that we are depleting our own defense budget. With so much artillery shipped to Ukraine, how much of this is a real concern and how much is speculation? Well, you know, the question is how fast can we replenish the ammunition, uh, the munitions we've been providing Ukraine and now to Israel? Uh, for the last 20 years, we've been primarily focused on uh, fighting uh, insurgencies, uh, not peer or near peer level uh, war. Uh, now, with the drawdown in, in Iraq and, and withdrawal from uh, Afghanistan, our military is refocused on what we call, what we call peer level warfare or nation on nation war. Uh, so in 2018, this country only produced about 15,000 155 millimeter uh, artillery rounds a year. Now, that's about what we fire in training missions. Uh, that's about five days worth of supply in Ukraine. Uh, in 2019, we ramped that up uh, in a major way and increased it to about 155,000 shells a year, uh, which is still only about 50 days worth of, of uh, Ukraine burn rate. Uh, one defense study does indicate that we could easily surge that number to about 250,000 a year, which is about three months worth. But uh, frankly, we can increase that rate uh, significantly by going to multi-year procurement contracts and rebuilding our domestic uh, defense industrial capacity. Uh, now, some studies show, uh, state that it would take about five years to rebuild our military stockpiles. Uh, that assumes we continue at current rates of production. As uh, President Biden said the other day, uh, in World War II, uh, we built 10,000 heavy bombers in three years and won the war. So if necessary, we have the capability to rebuild the stockpiles a lot faster. We're in a little bit of a different picture than when we we were in World War II and a lot costlier as well. Capital Group actually has put out a report uh, saying that the U.S. could be spending more on interest soon for America's debt than we do on our own defense budget. So how can we actually afford all of this? Well, you know, that's certainly a question uh, for policymakers to consider. Uh, the with the uh, rise in federal in interest rates that uh, the Federal Reserve Bank has put out, uh, the interest payments have essentially tripled. You know, we've gone from a close to a zero uh, interest rate to uh, six, seven, eight percent. So uh, simply by increasing those interest rates, we we uh, triple uh, the uh, level of interest that we have to pay. But policymakers are going to have to figure this out, uh, and it's not an easy uh, not an easy uh, task to figure out. How much of the concern isn't just financial, but also stems from the recruiting shortage that all branches of the military have been very vocal about? Well, you know, certainly there has been a, a, a real recruiting shortage. You know, part of the problem is, of, of course, that uh, we have seen uh, with um, the drop in birth rates that uh, the number of uh, young people graduating from high school, uh, that's the prime age for military recruitment from 18 to 26, uh, has dropped substantially. Colleges are having the same recruitment problem. You drive down any street in America today and you'll see help wanted signs. So it's a problem not only for the military, but it's a problem for all employers. And of course, the military is competing for uh, the best uh, uh, folks that we have out there, the very same people that employers want and the very same people that colleges want. Good help, hard to find, an age old adage. Thank you very much, General, for being with us as always. Good to see you. Pleasure to be with you, Adrian. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.